Gary, after Tranmere, the, the dressing room must be buzzing, but I guess it's a, the task is to manage the confidence but not allow that to build into overconfidence. Yeah, no. Um, just reflecting back on it, uh, a fantastic three points, but um, it was three points uh, and not to get carried away. We've got a very important game coming up against Chester who um, will be difficult opposition for us. So. Uh, We've got to put in another performance because um, there's a, a long way to go yet um, and we've just got to be consistent with our performances. You said on Saturday that you may not have expected such a good start but it's the start that you always dream of, that you hoped the team were capable of. So in that, are we ahead of where you thought or are there still lingering regrets that, regrets that we should be looking at a 100% record? Because in all the games where we haven't picked up points, we've been disappointed. Yeah, now again, looking back on the games where we've dropped points, if you like, um, we could have ended up, you know, picking up more. So that's being greedy, but, um, you know, we set our standards high. Um, it's a new group, as we said early part, and, it, you know, it normally takes time to gel. So we're, we're still in that process. For me, there's still more to come from the group, um, and they need to continue to push hard, uh, work hard in training. And continue to you know put in performances like they have done, but um, yeah, we've been very pleased. But on the under, uh, other hand, you know you, you could look back and say we should we should add more points. So, but um, there's three points at stake Saturday. That's our main focus now. For some people, maybe Dover and Tranmere were were perhaps not unexpected wins, but a bonus against a team like Dover and, and the league leaders. But it's vital to back that up in a game where on Saturday. Maybe Aldershot Town are, are the favourites. Yeah, but if, if we if we can get the three points on Saturday, it will make the Tranmere and Dover points even more uh, important and uh, it'll look better. But, you know, the good thing from our point of view is, you know, you go to Dover, uh, an away fixture, and then you, you play a team that was sitting top of the table at home and we're able to put in performances and get results. So, uh, you know, we have to, again, do that Saturday. And if we can get... You know what we're looking for. You know, um, then points at them. You know, in them games, will be even more important for us. Chester score a few, but they've also let in a few so far this season. How do you approach them? Yeah, I think if um, you know we've watched them, and even during course, you know, you know, uh, during their games, uh, they play extremely well, and then they may be a little bit inconsistent. And they change their formation. So we have to be mindful of that as well, so they, they can adapt during the course of the game. But um, yeah, they're going to be difficult opposition. Um, you know, they've got some you know, you know, good players within their group and uh, you know, we all know what happened last year. Um, so it's a case of, you know, we, we know what could happen and you know, we've got to make sure that doesn't. One of those good players is Elliot Durrell, who's the division's player of the month. Do you, do you ever focus on individuals or is it about the combating the whole team and letting the individuals take care of themselves? No, I'm a great believer of if we turn up and perform, we get the opposition worrying about us. I'm not, I'm not one for, you know, targeting individuals. You know, we make players aware uh, what, what the team does. But um, if we show up, I'd like to, uh, you know, cause the opposition problems so they have to worry about us. I think they, they suggested that they may come to be stubborn, solid, maybe play for a point, change their tactics away from home. Patience is always a virtue, but getting that first goal will be vital so that they haven't got something to defend. Yes, that will be uh, the key, really. Uh, we've been in games already this season where if teams have scored first, they, they have something to hang on to. But, you know, the first goal will be vital Saturday. And uh, if, if we can get that, you know, all well and good. But... Um, I think, yeah, you're right, patience will be the key on Saturday. But, um, you know, we've started very well here uh, in games. So, uh, you know, we'll be looking to do that. If they want to come uh, and, and play whatever way they want to play, we have to find a way to, to break them down. But also we've got to be very careful that we don't be caught as well on the counter. Indeed. How's the squad looking this week? Are there any, any players back into training? Yeah, please and Charlie come back into the group um, this week and um, he joined in. It was a very uh, tough session. Um, if you'd like to ask him how he felt after it, I'm sure he would tell you. <laughs> um, but no, no, it's good. Sav's come back into the group as well. Um, 
the only one really is uh, uh, Jim Kellerman, who's um, on the sidelines at the moment. So uh, yeah, we've got a healthy uh, group to pick from. He won't be rushed. Is there a time scale on Charlie's return to first team action? Uh, no, not really. We just got to make sure that um, you know there's no reaction to the problem that he had. Obviously, we've got to get his fitness levels up to, to where the other lads are. He's worked very hard with Russ, um, so we'll gauge that as we go along. So uh, whether Saturday is too early for him to be involved, we'll just have to wait and see. But seeing him in the warm-up last week, he was thrashing the ball into the net. With, with Gusto, he must be raring to go. Yeah, he can't wait to, to get back in amongst it, you know, and to be in the squad. So, uh, as I say, whether it's this Saturday or the coming fixtures, we'll have to wait and see, but that, that will be determined by how he does on the training ground. On the flip side, he would be struggling to get into the team at the moment, though. Yeah, but we've rotated the group, so, um, you know, every member of the group is important. Um, you know, even though Jim's not fit, he's as important as anybody else, any other member. So. Uh, Players will miss out, there's no, no two ways about it, um, they'll only miss out though because we're trying to keep it fresh and rotating it, it's not a case of bad performances because I don't believe any of them that have you know, performed under par, so um, that's the way we've gone about it and uh, that will continue.